Hi, in this tutorial we're just going to have a look at um, TOXI uh, spectra. So TOXI um, is short for total what's this? T correlation T I mean correlation C spectroscopy. Okay. Yes. Why? So toxic. Now I've left the. Um, if it's in the um, cozy tutorial, you'll see how we got to this stage here. Using um, propanol. I'll just get rid of the the toxic comment. That's a, I'll put that up at the side anyway. Um, and we could see how atoms were connected um, via this type of system. If I just change my colour to black a second. So we look at um, things like uh, hydrogen and the next carbon along, so, so the next hydrogen we could see using um, a cosy or correlated spectroscopy. And these turned out a bit like this, so in this propanol example we've got this um, CH3 group here, this methyl group, terminal methyl group is connected to this CH2 here highlighted in blue so you have some correlation with that one and because the CH2 is in the middle of these two groups here it sees that group there and it also sees the CH3 group there and similarly the CH2 group can only see the CH2 and it can't see the CH3 at the end it only goes through one bond. Okay, so causes only go through one bond. So if we want to look at what's called a whole spin system, this is called a spin system, so where it starts here, one, two, three, the the connectivity um, does exist, there's some, some relationship, and you remember last time um, we drew these these lines going like this and this was like the path for that relationship but you'd have to go back down to the diagonal the diagonal is just really a 1D spectrum really um, we'd have to go back down the, the diagonal with this path so we find the correlation then go back down what's that one connected to it's connected to this one what is that let's have a look it's on this and we get the specific PPM for that particular signal like that um, I just delete them, but there is there is an easy way of of doing this, and that's to use a toxi NMR. So we can get the whole spin system using a toxi um, NMR spectrum. And it's it's really very similar to the COSI spectrum, except what rather than you having this connectivity, you have a whole spin system, and and at first sight that can be very confusing, but with other molecules and I'll try and explain a few later in this tutorial it can be really helpful because you can drag this kind of information which can get quite crowded into this this area here where it's quite there's not that many signals and I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example in a second about that so let's have a quick look if I, if I do it in black I'll choose a black um, color if we um, and I'll leave it with a red circle the red outline so we know if we look at the spin system for that if you irradiate at this frequency you say you'll not only see that one but you'll see the whole spin system and it gets weaker the further away it is so if we had a longer chain uh, hydrocarbon there it would probably only go about four or five carbon lengths so the tox is not that good in terms of picking everything up um, and that kind of information can be quite useful as well so let's just um, let's just draw the, what the toxi would look like with this colour here. So the toxi for this signal here, if we radiate this signal, this um, methyl radiating in this position, would actually show all three um, hydrogen sets of hydrogens up. Okay, so that'd be our extra signal. We compare the toxi to the cosy, and we can see the extra signals. So we know this is not directly related to this signal, but it's within the same spin system. That's very important. 
and if we radiate this one well we're only going one carbon away anyway so that's going to make any difference if we radiate this one here then we would now see this CH3 here okay so that's the extra information we're getting out of a out of a toxi okay so if you look to the toxi straight away now you wouldn't be able to interpret that at all okay so you do need to look at the cosy first to get the connectivities and then use the toxi to get the extra um, information out for the whole spin system so that's that's important because that will tell you that this is actually part of this spin system and spin system is just a set of hydrogens that can talk to each other let's draw another molecule just to show um, first of all the power of um, the toxi um, um, NMR spectra spectrum and also um, how it breaks down so you can identify different spin systems so let's um, let's just add on to this for now so I'm making this up as I go along but we don't need that solvent anymore and we don't we know it's a proton let's just instead of having a alcohol system there let's put another CH3 no I'll put an ethyl group on here in okay let's let's just add um, CH2 CH3 okay so we've got an ethyl group here now now an ethyl group is actually going to overlap quite a lot with this because it's going to be very similar to this this type of region here but let's just shift it along a little bit so we can uh, differentiate it so in the toxic we'd have the spin system for this bit which has been identified here and then for this bit let's try and do that in a different color so for this bit here uh, let's call that what color we're we not used I'll use that one oops and do that so this bit here let's choose that color again and that one okay we'll have that and for this one this terminal CH3 here uh, I'll just use what color have I not used use this kind of dark red okay you should be able to see that um, on the on the video okay so we need to first of all put this in so let's take a circle and I'll choose that color again the circle okay so this CH2 is going to be very similar to that um, this one's got a bit more electron density uh, around it but this one let's let's just for the sake of argument put it in a similar place to this CH2 here next to the oxygen I'll just put it a little bit um, further away but they're very similar so that's that where that one will come and this CH3 would be quite similar to this one really um, maybe a little bit further out so the blue ones there and let's say make it a bit more alkali looking I am kind of making these up because I, I don't know exactly where they come okay so that's that and that should actually be the dark red color shouldn't it okay just, just change the color of that to that okay so I hope you can differentiate these colors this one here is this one and this one here is this one okay so in um, a toxic system you should be able to pick these up as independent things so this would now if I um, get the pink color back so this should be around here so let's just get a circle this would come straight down here and we'd have another little peak there okay just undo that and try and draw a circle okay leave that there like that and uh, this one would have one over here so we need to change our color a little bit and this one would have a peak about there so let's let's draw another circle there okay so that one's coupling to that one and this one's coupling to this one now we've got two separate spin systems you've got the spin system of this one here so let's just draw the spin system that spin system and we've got that spin system okay 
and we've been able to differentiate them simply by looking at this you can just look at one proton and you can see we've got one spin system there if you look at this proton and you can see we've only got that one spin system there if there are other hydrogens attached or if it's cyclic or something like that then they would show up here as well on this line okay so it's very very easy to see different spin systems using the toxic spectrum now that um, is pretty much uh, it for the introduction to toxic I just want to highlight um, just a couple of areas where um, toxins are useful and these would be um, where spin systems are separated so what I didn't mention here which is quite important actually is if I can see this this oxygen here okay stops the spin system so a, a heteroatom stops the spin system uh, another example let me just scroll down a little bit just to give you a few examples now and then I'll come back to that um, so another example would be the all too familiar amino acids so you've got your amide there and then you've got some chiral group here and then you've got carbonyl again and it carries on and carries on doesn't it like this H H and you've got another R group here this could be R2 this would be a different amino acid there and so on and so on you get this and this is obviously how proteins are built built, uh, built out of these amino acid um, fragments so if I just um, change the colour there so they're made out of I hope you can see this so you see an amino acid fragment is more or less here I hope you can see that yellow um, so this this area here is amino acid there's your carboxylic acid if you will this is your chiral center unless it's glycine and you've got your amines there as well but each one of them is a spin system so each one of them should show up on a toxic as its own spin system so straight away you can identify individual amino acids in a peptide or even if you've got a powerful NMR then in a protein so that's very useful for that other examples um, would be um, in biological products would be things like um, uh, saccharides so you've got oligosaccharides each sugar unit would be its own spin system um, you've got um, nucleotides and things like that anything that's built up of basic blocks like this which has got this separation of the um, hydrogen information uh, will, will have its own spin system so toxic is actually one of those things that people don't really think about too much and don't think it's that powerful they just think you've got loads more bits of data but if you had an aromatic peak here it would sorry I'll choose a different color if you had an aromatic peak here say and it was part of one of these um, part of the spin system somewhere then you would see the whole spin system just come out in this area here which is not being occupied by, any, by anything else you could see how crowded this was getting as we've got more aliphatic information in there it does get crowded in this region and this allows us to bring it out into this region so that's a basic introduction to toxi um, a very useful um, NMR method for looking at spin systems